Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So I'm here to complain about this. So, um, remember, like, I think at this point it might be a year where I was talking about the fact that, ah, eh, you know, the Blue Reflection Second Light PC port has its problems, and it does, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you, after, after, <laughs> after experiencing the first game, Boy, do I much prefer this PC port over this one. Which, by the way, at this point, Blue Reflection Second Light is pretty much running like at about as good as it can with Linux. So there's been a lot of improvements made over the past year, or even a little bit more than a year. Like, I, I feel like this game is perfectly playable at this point. I, if you have a Linux machine, have fun with this game. It's gonna run about as well as Windows. Maybe like one frame less. Blue Reflection, on the other hand, I have a different problem. You see, <laughs> um, this game, um, right now, I'm actually revisiting Blue Reflection. And um, I'm actually playing this on my PlayStation 5. Now, the reason for why I'm playing PlayStation... See, normally, when I'm playing on my PS5, it's usually because I tend to buy physical games. And, you know... Physical media is dead on PC, so if you if you if, if you're someone like me who likes collecting physical discs uh, You'll end up collecting a lot of PlayStation and Nintendo switch games and yeah If I already own the game, I might as well play on the console. It's not a big deal for me uh, I'm aware of the fact that with a lot of cases I can get a better experience uh, Especially with, uh, with how powerful my PC is, but usually, you know, I'm I'm more than willing to deal with the compromises that are made in order to you know, for games to run on console. Like if I'm running at lower settings, lower frame rates, and what can achieve on my PC, it's not that big of a deal. But in the case of Blue Reflection, I would actually say that in general, it's not just the fact because I actually because I actually don't have a physical copy of the first Blue Reflection game, which is my first mistake. I should get one, but I bought this game around the time when I wasn't as um, committed to buying physical copies, so I actually owned the digital version. So. Why would I choose to play on my PlayStation 5? It's very simple. Because the PS5 actually offers a better experience. <laughs> uh, somewhat. Uh, actually, I, I think there are some aspects where you can kind of argue that PC offers a better experience. But in general, I would say that it's a much... It, I have much less headaches playing the PS4 version on my PS5 than I do on PC. And I'm going to explain why. Now, firstly, let's actually open this game. Now, um, I did not test the audio, so maybe this game might come out a bit loud. I apologize for that in advance. I'll, I'll lower the volume just a little bit, because honestly, the volume of the game doesn't matter as much. Uh, Alright, so we have this little launcher, which, you know, already not a very good sign. can't exactly say that I'm the biggest fan of <laughs> launchers, like these unnecessary launchers, but whatever. I, I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. But let's actually go to settings. Now, this right here are pretty pitiful graphic settings. So, you have full screen, which, <laughs> I guess, I guess if you don't want to play on full screen, sure. You have display resolutions, which can go up to 4K. Now, one thing I will say about this game that actually is better than Blue Reflection Second Light is Blue Reflection Second Light only have these resolutions like 720p, 768p, 900p, 800p, maybe it might have some aside from these ones on the lower side, I'm not entirely sure, but after 1080p, the next resolution is 1440p, and then after that, there it's 4K. So there's no 1620, there's no 1800p on Blue Reflection Second Life, which to me that's actually a bit of a problem because I actually wish I could play the game at 1800p, just because I feel like the frame rate, well, at least at the time, I think nowadays that's a, that wouldn't be much of a problem because I, I think I'm a, I'm a lot more capable of running at above 60 FPS at 4K with my RX 6900 XT, which is cool. But I do remember that when I bought that game for the first time, well, not the game specific, but the card. When I bought that card, um, it wasn't running at a consistent 60 FPS. It was a little more prone to dropping below that. So I always thought to myself, you know, if I was running this game at 1800p, I'm, I would probably get a more consistent 60. But maybe that maybe that's not as much of an issue anymore. But I think the fact that these two resolutions are not available between 1440p and 4K on Second Light is actually an advantage that I will give to Blue Reflection. 
Though I will say that Blue Effects in Second Light has way more graphical settings, because this right here is pretty much as much as you're gonna get. Aside from that, there's language, which, I mean, sure, if I wanna play in, <laughs> if I wanna play in Nihonjin, sorry, not Nihonjin, um, Nihongo, um, sure, um, uh, gamepad settings, sure, key keyboard settings, sure, that's pretty much it. And if I start the game, I'm gonna skip the intro. Now, this right here is already a problem that I'll explain a little bit in a few seconds. But yeah, if I go to settings, there's nothing here. So what you saw from that little launcher is all the graphical settings that you're gonna get in this game. Which to me, that is pretty pitiful. Like, if you're a PC game, like in my opinion, if you're releasing a PC port, you better, you, you have to release more than that. Like, I don't like when video games don't offer that many options to configure your graphic settings. Because to me, like, at least, like, that's one of the main appeals of PC, is the fact that you can fine-tune the graphical configuration in order to adhere to whatever hardware you have. And, you know, I also just like testing out technology and stuff like that. Though, what we saw earlier is pretty fucking pitiful. Like, it, to me, that's unacceptable. But that's not even the worst part. Well, actually, in some ways, I could. But um, I want you guys to notice something. Have you guys noticed that this, this, this looks a little bit blurry? Yeah, it does look a little bit blurry. Let's actually open this. So, here we have the game. Now, I want to point out a couple of things. For one, anti-aliasing wise, this is definitely better than the PS4 running on the PS5 version. Because, you know, if you run this game, if you run uh, Blue Reflection, on a PS5, it has like PlayStation Pro enhancement, which does, you know, increase the resolution and the frame rate, um, you know, pretty notably. But this game definitely has better, like on PC, it definitely has better anti-aliasing. And I believe the resolution should also be higher here because um, at least the, the character models, they're being rendered at 4K. And on PS5, it's definitely not 4K. It's like a, it's like an upscaled 4K. Like it's like it's actually rendered at a low resolution, but upscaled to 4K. Because that was one of the things that you know, a lot of PlayStation Pro enhanced games did. So I think from that aspect, this is I think this is an improvement. But I want to show you guys something. Look at how everything looks blurry. Like this image of Hinoko looks pretty blurry. Like the UI elements look pretty blurry. Just. It's like this is being rendered at a lower resolution. And I, I believe I read somewhere that this game like has like a base resolution of like 720p. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need it at 720p, it might be 1080p. Like it has like a base resolution of like 1080p. And then when you choose the resolution on the little launcher there, I think it really just, it, I think it pretty much just uh, it increases the resolutions of the rendered assets, but everything else is like rendered at lower resolution. So it's it's like when you're playing an emu it's like when you're playing a game on an emulator. It like that's literally how it feels when I'm playing this game. And I don't have that problem on the PS5. Like when I play this game on PS5, the UI elements, everything, it looks at a it looks crispier, it looks at a higher resolution. Uh funny enough, another thing that also would make me wanna play this on my PS5 is the fact that uh, back then, uh, this isn't the problem now, but back then, I didn't have HDR here because I'm running this on Linux. Now I do have partial support for HDR, so I guess on that aspect, this is no longer a problem. And to be honest, I think this is only an issue for like 1% of people because I'm sure most of you are playing this on Windows, and Windows has had HDR for a while. But regardless, um, this is not a very good PC port, like I'm going to be honest. Um, I've also noticed inaccurate shadows in some cases. Uh, it, it's gonna be a little bit hard to replicate here, especially because I, f I feel like a lot of the times it would happen during cutscenes where I feel like the shadows weren't rendered like super, super, super well on some characters. Um, it's not something that happens a lot 
it happened in a couple of rare instances, and I could swear that I did not see that on the when I played this on on my console. So, yeah, um, this PC port it has its issues. Um, I think there may also be some degree of screen tearing, but I don't know how much of this I want to blame on the game. And nah, it's not screen tearing. I think it's just uh. Ah, uh, nah, it's just a, it's just some uh, motion, I wouldn't say motion artifacts, it's really just some motion effects, because, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a couple of, like, black dots there on uh, these little things, so if you run a bit faster, it might give off the impression that there's screen tearing, but in all actuality there isn't. But, yeah, um, the thing is, if this was my only option to play this game, I probably would still play it, because, you know, why not? I was just a little bit disappointed by, you know... Just the overall quality of this PC port. It's definitely not the best. Like, at least it's playable. Like, it doesn't have any... Like, as far as I'm aware, this doesn't have any, like, performance issues. Um, it's running at 4K, 60 FPS, and it's only u utilizing, like, like 7... Like, up to 75% of my GPU. It's not bad, honestly. Um, and I've seen this running during the... Um, in other locations, and... The GPU utilization is more or less the same. Like, this is not a very demanding game. I'll say that. Um, but, you know, and even, but even then, I would still argue that for a game that, you know, isn't exactly, like, that technologically advanced, maybe it shouldn't be utilizing this much GPU power, but I'm not going to complain too much, honestly. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, wish this was better. Again, if this was my only option, I probably would still play it, but, you know, I wish this was definitely better. And that's pretty much it. Goodbye.